Hello guys and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be talking about the Samsung S20 series and how to get 120Hz refresh rate with the WQHD Plus resolution. And this will work for the S20, the S20 Plus and Ultra. Um, my phone is the Ultra so we're just going to use this as the test bed um, for this particular topic. Um, but it's a known problem that the S20 series doesn't actually support running 120Hz at the full WQHD Plus resolution because of what seems to be unquote, a hardware related issue. But there is a really, really easy way around this that I'm going to show you. So a bit of a disclaimer is that technically this is not true WQHD Plus because true WQHD Plus is 1440 by 3200 pixels but we're going to modify the resolution to 1439 by 3199 meaning we're going to lose only one pixel either side of the border but this will enable us to use the 120Hz refresh rate while still retaining what is pretty much full WQHD Plus resolution. So what you want to do first is um, enable developer mode and by the way my phone is in German so don't mind that <laughs> But uh, to enable developer mode, uh, you would you you need to go to the settings. So for me, that's Einstellungen. Okay, and then we're going to go to about device. For me, telephone info. We're going to go to software information, and in here you will find the build number. So we're just going to tap this a couple of times, we're going to tap this around about six or seven times and then you'll get a notification that will say you are now a developer. Um, but for me, as you can see, I'm getting this message here because um, developer mode is already being enabled. The second thing you're going to need to do is go to your display settings and set it to oops wrong one you're going to want to set the resolution from WQHD plus if you're already using this uh, to full HD plus so I'm just going to set this now and then in you go if you go back to the main settings menu if you scroll down right down to the bottom you will find the developer mode and here it's in Twickler option in so we go in here and we're looking for the USB debugging mode. So if we scroll down we find debugging and USB debugging mode is right there. We turn this on, you'll get an, uh, a question asking you if you really want to turn this on. It's okay. And that's pretty much it for this. Okay guys, so now that we have our device ready, what we need to do is we need to download the ADB tool. So basically the ADB tool is the Android debugging tool and that's how we're going to interface with our phone um, in order to run these three very simple commands and change the um, display resolution in order for us to be able to run the 120Hz refresh rate. So what you need to do is go to this website here. I'm going to post the link in the description below. You can find it there. Click on it it will present you with this website and then if you just scroll down to the bottom you can find all of the versions of ADB tool um, available to you and I'm going to use uh, the 1.43 um, so if you click on this one here it will present you with another web page and you can just click start now and download the ADB tool so I'm going to save it it's a very small file it's only one megabyte show this in my downloads and then I'm going to just extract it. So unzip, just extract it here. So in this folder you'll be given um, a few bits of information but it's really quite simple um, and this is actually an installer so you run this it will go through the installer. It's really quite simple there's nothing much to it. You run it 
and then it should automatically pop up. I have it already installed and it's right here. So when I click on this, this is the window that you should get. Now we are pretty much ready to run these commands. So you want to plug your phone in and you'll be notified. Would you like to um, enable USB debugging? Just click OK. I've just clicked OK on my phone and now we can run these commands. So the first command that we need to do is just to check that the computer can actually see the, uh, the, the phone. So we want to run ADB devices. And as we can see, mine's not attached. I've got a bit of a faulty USB cable. One second. Let's try that again. Okay, so now it's showing up after I've played around with it a minute. So here is my device. As we can see, the list of devices attached. If you didn't accept the notification to allow the computer for uh, USB debugging, where it says device here, right there, it will say unauthorized. Um, and the other thing to mention is that this is already running in the background. Normally for the first time you'll be, when you run this command, it will uh, run the, um, the, uh, the ADB system so to speak and it will just go through its little process and then it will show you the devices but once you've done that the next command that we need to run is adb shell wm and then size Keyboards backwards, I mean it's German. Uh, we went size, and then what we need to type in here is 143953199. We click enter, and then once we've done that, we need to then type adb again shell. WM and then here we need to put density and the density is 560 so we press enter and that's it done now we're finished with the ADB tool we can go back to our phone and do the rest of the setup there Okay guys, so now we are back with the phone. So next, what we need to do is we need to go back into our settings. I just open Google Play there. Go back into our settings. And then we're going to scroll down to the developer options. And then we're going to look for the, let me find it, the width. So this is set to 411 dp, which is exactly what it should be. So that's absolutely fine, that's perfect. So we're just gonna leave this now. Normally, in some cases, uh, it can be different, um, but in this case, it's absolutely fine. So then we're going to go back to our display settings, and then we can go to our refresh rate and set it to high. And there we have it. We are now running at 120 hertz with the resolution of almost WQHD plus. And we can see it there, 3199 by 1439 resolution. So there you have it guys. That is basically all it takes. It's really simple, very easy, and it works really well. Um, as a side note, Restarting your phone using apps, absolutely fine, not a problem at all. The only problem comes when, um, if you are going to change the display settings again to the default settings, the three default settings that you get, so the the, the full HD, the um, 
the FHD Plus and the WQHD. If you choose one of those settings, um, you, it will change it back to the default refresh rate and resolution and this means that you won't be able to get the 120 hertz at this resolution again unless you run those commands again on, with ADB. And also if you have a look in the display settings I'll show you. If you look at the display settings um, if you click on here you'll see that it's highlighted HD plus um, but that's not actually true. It's stated here. We can see it. It says HD plus, but you know, I mean, the resolution is uh, pretty much WQHD, which is exactly what we expect. Um, just as with uh, the missing pixel on either side. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And um, yeah. You'll be seeing more of me soon. Thanks for watching, guys.